Okay, so <laughs> um, we're just doing a little mini haul. Um, we had an Albertsons up the street recently closed um, and it was reopened as a Tom Thumb. And um, I am a firm believer in that you have to speak with your money, um, show your support of things through your money. Um, so whenever there's new stores in the area, especially within my hometown that open up, I try to go and buy whatever vegan items they have um, to show my vegan support. So um, the Tom Thumb opened. I went in. I had a coupon. You know, new um, grocery stores open up in areas. They tend to um, send out coupons to get people to come in. And so I had a $10 off of $50 purchase. And so I purchased about $55 worth of items. $65.55 with my coupon. So we got um, breaded vegan Steady coconut jam. shrimp. Um, I haven't heard of this brand before, but I went up and down every it looks aisle good. and basically grabbed something from each aisle that was vegan. Um, healthy vegan bites that look like vegan um, oatmeal bites. Oatmeal raisin cookies. Um, some coconut <laughs> some coffee caramel fudge uh ben and jerry who's that you can't have any we can share it okay no i'm talking about um, some cinnamon roll pop tarts that we found a couple Which of are delicious um, and i ate all shopping trips <gasps> guess what guys back that were vegan okay guess what i found out at school reduced fat brown sugar pop tarts are vegan with the frosting All right, um, we got two black bean Amy's burritos, two tofu scramble Amy's breakfast burritos. Yay! Um, the New York cheesecake from Daya that hopefully we're gonna actually get at least one slice of. <laughs> I'm Before sorry. Someone busts it open and start sticking their fingers in it. Um, and two of these vegetable kormas. Um, it's vegan, it says that on the very top. I promise you guys we're not using him. <laughs> He's so rude to me. I Just put him down. Here, you can stay down. Okay. Um, so we're gonna try. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna take it with me to work one day and try that because it's one of those. Tell us how it tastes because I'm gonna I try will. it. Um, one of those microwavable meal type things, but it's an Indian dish. Um, Raven uses these when she makes us um, vegan cookies, which is not often. Hint. Oh, and some breaded vegan shrimp. Those are just like these. You just don't have coconut on them, apparently. So, um, all of this was sixty-five dollars without the coupon. Sorry, and, the price. Um, which I'm, it, it's a lot. Um, but these are like specialty items. Um, and like I said, I was just basically trying to show my support. These aren't items that we necessarily needed. We didn't have them on. The grocery list at all, as you can see. Um, water bottles. Were there these, any water bottles? None of these items are on my grocery list. So um, I just wanted to show my support and spend some money um, and get a few things. Um, and, you know, the way that corporations and government entities work is yeah. by um, paying attention to where people spend their money. So um, they just opened on the 18th, which was about a week ago. And, uh, so within a week, we'll see that they have about fifty dollars worth of vegan support. So we're gonna continue with that. They got some the diet items, like everything that's made by diet. They carry even the ranch. Yeah. Wow. Um, they nice. don't carry any just mayo products <gasps> or Boca products. Um, but as you can see, they have a few that I had never heard of before that we're gonna be trying this time. And um, they also carry. Stella Rosa Black, which is um, one of my favorite wine brands, Stella Rosa. Um, they carry the black version, and it was like $13, which is about $4 more than what I can get it at at um, a local liquor store, so I won't be getting that. <laughs> but they carry it. Um, so we'll be going to that store more often, and I'll try to rack up my reward points because that's one of the benefits of shopping at one of those bigger grocery store brands. All right, um, so that's it. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna add anything else. You should have either seen or about to see footage of the 
a vegan fest that we went to last weekend. Yes. We didn't stay very long. I was very sad. Um, because it was really delicious. I had right. an injury um, last Tuesday. Coco! Um, not this past Tuesday, but the Tuesday before. Okay. And, <laughs> and so I wasn't able to walk around much. So basically what happened was um, I walk and feed Coco in the morning. Which is in the background right now. Yeah. Um, and he, since I get up early in the morning to go to work, or, or did when we got him, um, because I was working a lot of overtime at work, I would get up at like four o'clock in the morning. And so he became accustomed to that. So around five o'clock in the morning, he wakes up and he's running for his walk. So this morning, that morning, um, I took him down and I was feeding him and I don't normally leash him when I take him out in the mornings because like I said it's 4 4 30 in the morning and nobody's ever out there um, but this morning and every morning since I found um, there was this older white man that walks um, he's ramped up to running now congratulations to him <laughs> um, but needless to say it was unexpected so Coco was loose and when I saw him come down the street, it was around the same time that Coco saw him going down the street. So I got up from the lawn chair that I usually sit in and went to pick him up to keep him from running after the guy and then went to sit back down, but the seat wasn't behind me. Oh. Well, it was behind me, but it just wasn't where I thought it was, was. So me and Coco went down, straight down onto the concrete, onto my tailbone. Um, it kind of knocked me senseless for a while. Um, <laughs> when I came to, I was like bent over totally at the waist. I can't do it now because it hurts. You look like grandma. And I was like, like this, like dragging my fingertips across <laughs> the ground. And I was like, what am I doing? And I heard the guy saying to Coco, go back to your mama, go help your mama. And so I was like, oh, I got it. I got to go get Coco. So I like stood up and went to go stumble and get Coco and almost tripped over him because at that point he was right in front of me. Um, so I went and actually sat down in the seat at that point and felt my injury because I sat on it and jumped right back up and fell onto my knees. Thankfully I had my phone downstairs with me. Um, and so I called my wife and she came down and I couldn't walk basically mm -hmm. and um anytime I put pressure on my legs it hurts so bad um I started going into shock because I couldn't stop shaking and I was freezing cold and um so Nikia had to like calm me down and she's like you know we really need to take you to the hospital I really didn't want to go mm. um I don't think anybody likes the hospital who likes the hospital um, I didn't really want to go um, so I kind of argued with her back and forth a little bit and she was like, no, you're going to go to the hospital. Um, I'm going to let our oldest daughter stay home, Raven. And um, so she can take care of you because I can't miss any work. So she took us to the hospital that was close to her job, to the ER, and they did an x-ray. They were very fast, super courteous. I like them. Yeah, they were very, very nice people. And... Um, Needless to say, nothing was fragmented. Is that the word? Yeah. Uh, no, fractured. <laughs> nothing was fractured or broken, but I had a severe contusion on my tailbone, the coccyx. I thought that said concussion. Um, contusion. <laughs> and um, so they gave me Tylenol 3, which is hydrocodone, it's Tylenol, um, Flexerol, and Naproxen, a very high dosage of, of all of them. Mom was out. And they also gave me meds while I was there. And um, then my wife came and picked us back up, dropped us off at home. Um, and then I didn't really hear much from Raven because she got her phone <laughs> to help take care of me that day. And I think she like brought me some water. And... A lot of food, mom. Yes, she did bring. But, like, I, come I, on I now. Was so hungry. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. She brought me a lot of food. She brought me like three rounds of food. Four. <laughs> no wait, you had the cookies, you had that, you had the the what the chicken nuggets, you had the you had something else though. Yeah, but Jada got from What was it? I don't remember. I think pie. Don't bite me out. No, yeah, that's pie. I don't know. Whatever it was. 
Um, I was just joking though. She <laughs> took very good care of me. Um, and my wife took very good care of me that evening. I tried. Um, Jada helped a lot too. Um, the next day, my mom came because Raven had to go back to school. Stop, Granny. And um, she helped to take care of me. She brought my niece. And between my niece and Coco and me, my mother was very busy that afternoon. <laughs> Um, Wait, you guys are going to meet Celeste one day. Yeah, y'all will meet Celeste. Hopefully um, there's no screaming. So, I had two days of people kind of helping me. And I kind of need, I really needed it because I couldn't sit down on the toilet by myself. Mm -hmm. I from the toilet by myself. And I couldn't, I could get off of the bed because my bed is like this far off of the ground. So, basically it was kind of like just rolling off of it and landing on my feet. Mm -hmm. So that was easy, but getting into my bed was extremely difficult. I couldn't walk up the stairs without assistance. And we live on a, a two-floor um, floor plan, so... Um, I have been taking the Flexerol and the Hydrocodone. I've gotten down to one in the morning and one in the evening. Um, and I didn't really take them the product they gave me because that was more for an anti-inflammatory and I didn't really want to take this, take many pills and it seemed like my swelling was going down pretty quickly on its own. Um, the doctor did say that because of my age, it would take two weeks for um, the contusion to heal to the point where I felt comfortable bending over and walking again. So I um, hit a week today that this happened Whew! so um, I'm still not 100% I still can't bend over um, I still have a hard time getting out of the car unassisted but I'm walking a lot faster almost to my normal speed um, I'm not switching though I can't I can't switch like I used to so it kind of looks like I got some stuck in my butt mm -hmm. I'm walking. Um, and what I probably could be doing is eating as many raw and whole plant food items as possible during this healing journey to make me heal faster, but I'm not. <laughs> Eat a lot I'm, of just, I'm just eating regular, like I usually do. Mm -hmm. So um, that's a mix of both whole plant food, healthy, raw items, and processed vegan food. I said that to say I have not been uploading much and so either before or after this is going to be the vegan festival which doesn't have a whole lot of footage because I can walk around a lot and um but we had a good time we ate some good food um them sure. tacos was good yeah we that, El Palote we've been talking about going to cheese. yeah we've been talking about going to El Palote for about three well since we heard about them since, since the they, beginning of my school year basically yeah um, they used to sell um, just vegan on Thursday evenings. Um, and then because I guess of the vegan support that they received, they extended it to the weekend, so Thursday Yay! through Sunday. And then they just recently announced that they've made the entire restaurant 100% vegan. So we've been talking about since they still have meat eater food um, there about going to, to eat there because we love Mexican food. Yes. Um, but we just hadn't been able to make it. So they, they were there at the festival. So we got to try some El Pelote carne asada tacos. And they were like in the street taco. They were kind of like and shredded up with some were, sauteed they were, they stuff they in there. The bomb. Yeah. Um, so with some lime on it. The um, desire to go is even more uh, prominent now. And um, Spirals, which is of course one of our favorites. And they didn't try the buffalo mac and cheese from B.E. Um, I would have liked to try the truffle fries from B.E. also. Um, but I didn't feel like standing in the line again. <laughs> um, and there were some items on the spirals list, like some different kinds of donuts. They made me so upset. Um, that we missed because we got there at like two and a half hours before the festival was over. And mm. Um, it started at 11 and we got there at about two. two. So um, some of the stuff was sold out when we got there. <laughs> the I nachos. also probably would have tried the um, 
the fried cheesecake that Spirals had. Mm -hmm. And we also passed the Nami truck, which was the ramen truck that I got a bowl of ramen from last year when I was at Vegan Fest, and it was so good. So I, I probably would have also liked to. Oh, I should have got some of that and I ate some liked kimchi. To that also. Um, but all in all, we had a great time, and we look forward to the one next year. And uh, that's it. So hit like and subscribe um, if you haven't already. Um, let me know if you want more of these food hauls. Um, I tend to do little shopping trips. <laughs> um, Is he licking anyway, your toes? Yeah, he's chewing. He does that in the morning, too. Um, what was I saying? Mm -hmm. Like, subscribe. Hit like and subscribe. Something about the mornings. Oh, um, tell me in the comments if you think I should do more of the grocery hauls when I have them, even if they're small like this. Um, and, um, we love you. So, uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you later. <laughs> okay, bye. for the tacos. We're about five, five people back in line for the paying line. And then there's another line over there to pick up your food. So. My back's starting to hurt though. I'll tell y'all more about that later. I don't know how much longer we're going to be here. Okay, so we went to El Pelote and we got tacos. Here's Ravens. Everybody else hogged theirs down. Carne asada. And we got a sugar donut. And a pumpkin muffin. That one's for free because baby was talking shit. And a vegan Twinkie. Looks like it's busting. You gotta be careful with it. And a muffin. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice. Because she's a basic bitch. I can't believe those tacos are so good. That's the vegan restaurant? That's the Spanish on the Island thing we needed to go try. I'm going to need at least eight of those, huh, Raven? They're like street tacos, Water, like from Fuel City. Just the need rice um, and beans? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Need some rice and bees. And some like nacho cheese. And sour cream. And some nachos on the side. Um, but it looks, we came pretty late and there was, there's still a lot of people here. There's crazy lines. Um, and I uh, hurt myself earlier this week. So we're not going to be able to stay that long. But I think we got some pretty good food and we walked around one full time and saw all the wares and stuff like that so um, I'm gonna go and see what the cheapest doggy treat is over here 
that we saw when we first got in and bring that home to Coco. He's still too young and um, he's not going to get all his shots done until probably um, after Thanksgiving. So he couldn't come, but we're going to try to bring him a treat. But uh, all in all, it was a wonderful veg fest. Um, I'm going to get reviews from my family now and excuse my camera work because they may not be in frame. Hold on. What did you think, Jada? Well, wait, what about what? The veg fest. The, the veg, it's very friendly and there's a lot like, if you see somebody Ooh, just there lost it is. And then I could just be like, why are you looking at me? That was like, they just be like, oh, if you say, good job, and run off, it's like, thanks. That's exactly what I did. Oh, and I saw this yoga lady. They're still right there, but they're really good. You should watch them. They're doing a yoga demonstration behind us. And here's Raven. <laughs> Cheesecake behind us too. Oh, Abby, what did you think? Are you in frame? I am not. Um, it was very yummy, of course. Um, the tacos were great. Pumpkin spice muffin, a lot of jams and organic vegetables and fruits from the farm to your house. So very yummy. We've tried and sampled a lot of different foods, and you know we're gonna be better prepared with more bags next year to take away cards so we can be ordering for the harvest. Harvest. It was great overall. Two thumbs up and a snap. <laughs> okay. Um, so Raven's still hungry. But my butt hurts. So if she wants something that's in a long line, we get her not doing it. But I had a good time, so just wanted to share with y'all. Um, hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, hopefully you guys can come out next year. Bye. Don't talk rice cream. Say bye. Let me stare at him. Say bye, Coco. Say bye. Say bye. Come get it. Dude. He's like, there's, there's nothing there. Coco. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a bye from Coco.